Hey guys, Wild Vigilance here, otherwise known as Rebel NASCAR fan. Um, thought I'd check in, let y'all know what's up, what's going on. Uh, not a whole lot, really. <laughs> Hi, Tig. Ivy is officially gone. I uh, don't. I think I told you about that yesterday, but I keep, I keep wondering where she is. You know, like, like. <laughs> I, went, I brought Tig out this morning, and I was thinking Ivy was in that back bathroom, and she wasn't. And it's been rough. I miss her. Things have just been rough the past few months. I say past few months. Things have been rough for a while. I just haven't noticed it. So, hey, oh, called GameStop again and uh apparently the district manager karen she's the one for this area had the flu all last week and so she's sort of almost lost her voice so the store that i'm trying to get on at um the the manager of that store tried talking to her about me and uh he couldn't make out anything she was saying he's got another uh, like a conference call with her on monday and he's going to talk to her about me then um, I got high hopes. I really do. Uh, think, I think things will, will work out. I hope things work out. And if I'm able to get the uh, ASM position, hey, that's, as far as I know, that's full-time. I, I would love to have a full-time job right now, you know, something to keep me busy, keep my mind occupied. God knows I need it. Things will be rough with... Amber working night shift and me working day shift, both of us having full-time jobs, but hey, do what you got to do to bring in some income, I suppose. We got to work on the truck today. Yeah, the blue pickup has a bad fuel pump, so we've got to change the fuel pump. That's going to be a task. First, it's got like three quarters of a tank, and so of gas. And uh, we have to drop the gas tank. So that's what we thought at first. <laughs> Could not figure out how... I couldn't figure out how we were going to drop it out. Which I figured would be the easy part. And then put it back. Because you're going to have to put it back just so. And with three quarters of a tank of gas, that's not going to be very light. But we had to have it towed back here to the house. Uh, when we had it towed, the guy, the, the tow guy explained to us that you can take the bed off, which Amber had already said that. Let me just put that out there. And, you know, when she said it, I heard her say it, and I was like, okay, well, that might be a little bit easier. And then, without us even, like, running it by him, he, like, confirmed it, you know, telling us we could just take the bed out because it's held in by bolts, and all we got to do is lift the bed, and we can go straight on top of the uh, fuel tank like that, which sounds so much easier. Um... Amber took her computer with her, and so I'm having a hard time looking up any tablatures or uh, karaoke or really anything, because all I got is my phone, which it's great, you know, it does a good job, it's just really, really hard to play guitar and scroll through a, a tablature at the same time. <laughs> uh, she's supposed to be coming by sometime this afternoon, and we're going to work on the truck. Taylor and Pilar want to hang out. I haven't hung out with Taylor and Pilar in a long time. Like, just, like, literally hang out with them. I don't know if we're going to be the only ones there, but it'll be cool. I think we'll have a really good time. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, though. So, yeah. We've got, we've got these, these... I don't know if they're hawks or if they're, they're I don't want to say vultures, like buzzards, buzzards. I don't know if they're hawks or buzzards, but they're constantly flying around over here. Like, they're there now, there's like four of them and they're just circling. I'm going to say they're buzzards because I don't think hawks circle because they don't feed on dead things, they, they kill. They're, 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 what, are, what, are, what, are, what, birds of prey? Which, they're both birds of prey, but they don't feed on carrion like buzzards I don't know 
They hunt their prey. Buzzards do not. Uh, do you know what I can't stand? You know what really bothers me? Check this out. When we had Ivy, we would bring her out. And we would tie her up out here in the yard. Now then these people, I'm going to turn so you can see the house behind me. See that house right there? Yeah. They've got a big fence all the way around their yard. They have two dogs, Darla and Petey. Petey's cool. Petey don't ever do nothing. Which, I mean, he runs around, but he's not, like, mean. Ivy and Darla do not get along. But for some reason, this lady would see Ivy out in the yard hooked up and think, oh, well, that's a good time to let Darla out so that she can use the bathroom or whatever she does out here. So her and Ivy would start barking at each other. This lady stands on her porch and goes, Darla, 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 come here, Darla, 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 come here, Darla, Darla. And she'll do that until the dog finally gets tired of barking at Ivy and goes up there with her. Oh my God. Just let Ivy do her thing for a minute and then you can let your dog out. Don't stand in there. I don't even care about that. Go inside. You got a fenced in yard. You don't have to stand out here and yell at your dog. She ain't going nowhere. My dog's not going to get your dog through a fence. Tied up. Darla, 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 Darla. It's so irritating. People, come on. I don't know. <laughs> this bothers me. I can't stand it when people do stuff like that. Because it wasn't even she would let her out to roam during the day. It was she would wait until we put Ivy out and then she'd let her out. Whatever. Whatever. Dude. Um. And then there was a lady who lived right here. Yeah. Her name was... I'm not going to tell you her name. I'm not. D. Her name was D. Uh, she refused to pay rent. Well, she didn't refuse to pay rent. She just wouldn't. And she would lie about it. Like, it's in the mail. It's in the mail. It's in the mail. It was never in the mail. You know? Or this was a good one. This one really made Randy mad. There, her husband was, was Mexican. And he didn't speak... English really well. They had a couple of kids in there too. But Randy called one day and told her because he lives 60 miles away. He said, I'll be coming. What, Randy's landlord. Randy's landlord. There you go. Anyway, he said, I'll be coming uh, tomorrow to pick up the rent because she was like really far behind. And uh, she said, yeah, okay, that'll be fine. Well, he gets down here the next day and the husband answers the door and he said, I'm here for rent. And he goes, oh, Oh, um, uh, my wife has that. She's at work. He goes, now wait a minute. Why on earth would your wife leave knowing that I was coming and not leave the rent money with you? Why would she take it to work with her knowing I was coming? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. You'd have to talk to her. They ended up getting evicted. That was a fight. Not like, like a fist fight. Like I'm going to blah, you know. No, it was a... Uh, there was just so many ways that they got around being evicted. Because Randy wrote up an eviction notice, and the police got involved. And the police said that his written eviction notice wasn't good enough. He had to go through court. So he went through court, and evidently they filed something called, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's been a while. Writ of... Uh, Rid of possession? No. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it gave them so long to get out. Which, they had a lot less time than what squatters' rights would have been because they were already informed that they were supposed to leave. Anyway, uh, finally, finally, the police show up and... Uh, help move stuff out of the house, which they knocked on the door, and the husband came to the door, and he's flipping out. She doesn't tell me nothing. She doesn't tell me nothing. All this mess about how she hasn't told him anything. He gives her the money, and 
she's supposed to pay rent and all this. And evidently she hadn't been. And so they got evicted. The husband, even though he was mad, helped them carry stuff out into the yard. And man, that was that was crazy. Um, Randy, the, the okay, the police said that she had like a day to get the stuff and uh, all the stuff out of the yard. Anything that she hadn't gotten, she was not allowed to come back on the property and get. She had forfeited that stuff, and it was it now belonged to the people who own the property. Randy gave her two days. She came back the third day when she wasn't supposed to be here and broke into the house and started taking her stuff. Uh, of course, we called the cops and all this mess because, well, she was crazy. Um, blaming Randy for this, that, and the other. She came over here to ask me where some of her stuff was. Um, yeah, that was a mess. Which I don't know if they ever found her or not. She, as soon as she noticed that I saw she was taking stuff, uh, she booked it. Which she got pretty much everything. Some of that stuff that was in there wasn't even hers. Uh, it's been, it has, it's been a mess around here. Things are just not getting any easier. Well, I take that back. They're getting a little easier now that I'm actually, you know, putting myself out there and trying. Which I should have been doing a long time ago. You know, that's one thing about regret. They, they always said, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's true. Once you screw up, you look back and you go, oh, well, I could have not done that like this. And then you realize, well, that would have been the smarter thing to do. And it's too late. You can't do the smart thing once you've done been stupid. There's no way of redeeming stupid. It's just there. It kind of hangs in the air over your head. Like a big sign. Hey, I'm stupid. I got a few of those. You know, the signs hang over my head. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm cold. I'm indifferent. <laughs> I'm heartless. No, I'm caring. But I'm stupid. So, that's pretty much it for today. I'm about out of time on my camera, so I'm going to have to clear out some of these videos. I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I'm still doing Game Time with Wild Vigilance, which is my own sort of uh, video game vlog kind of thing. Check that out. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. You know, everything that YouTube allows you to do and help me out. I could use some help. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm headed back inside. I'll talk to you later.